tomorrow, and it is a holiday that's roots originate in Ireland thousands of years ago, which has led to Ireland being a tourist destination this time of year. All thanks to festivals and tons of spooky sites. Travel Zoo's senior editor, we have Gabe Saglia. He has actually been there for a few days, and now he joins us live from Trim Castle in Ireland with the haunting details. So cool, Gabe. I'm <laughs> jealous that you're over there in Ireland. Now tell us, though, how did the whole celebration of Halloween start in that country. Yeah, would you wouldn't you know it? This is actually where it all got started 3,000 years ago. We know this now, uh, and the word slow, is slowly uh, spreading across the world. And a lot of people coming out here to celebrate the very fact that Halloween would have originated here, and specifically at a spot called the Hill of Ward, just about 10 miles from where I am right now here in the city of Trim. It's a private farm now, but I got to sneak in. Uh, this is where, through archaeological digs, they've determined the very first Halloween ceremonies would have taken place 3,000 years ago, known as Samhain back then. But it all hinged on that October 31st date. Very pivotal date because it was considered then the end of the calendar year. So harvest was over, winter was coming, and it was thought to be the day when the veil between this world and the next was at its thinnest. So yeah, you better believe that ghosts could have much more easily on that particular night cross over. So these ancient stories and these ancient legends uh, known as Samhain back then, known as Halloween today, and, and really sort of now cer certainly celebrated all over the world. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then you're mentioning you know, festivals, people going there just to be a part of the origin. Uh, tell me more about that too. So in, here I'm in Trim, and known in an area called uh, County Meath, uh, and this is where uh, the Puka Festival, sort of the official festival record around Halloween. I got to be a part of the opening procession here on Saturday night. Uh, you know, I covered this festival when it launched in 2019, and five years later, it is bigger and better than ever. So thousands of people across the streets there. I met a lot of folks from Europe, a lot of folks from across the USA who were here specifically to celebrate Halloween, where it all began. And the stars of the show, a lot of these mythological, spooky, scary characters um, that have been sort of part of the legend of Samhain or of, of Halloween. A lot of these characters joining me on the rooftop as we speak. Yeah, there's Morrigan, the goddess of war. Uh, and there's Far Darig uh, representing fire. Uh, we've got Bowen, the goddess of the local river back there. But this is Puka right here, you see. Adorable as you may look. Uh, if you run into to Puka uh, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the forest, uh, some dangerous things could happen. You have to be, you really have to have your wits about you if Puka is purportedly uh, bounding about. Uh, that's Puka Festival here in County Meath, up in Northern Ireland. Derry Halloween, the city of Derry, uh, does it in, in style and does it real big. Uh, no one knows better than Winifred the Witch, who's been celebrating Halloween there. What, is this your 400th year now, uh, Winifred? Yes, but you don't want to give away a witch's age game. <laughs> I'm back here in Dairy Halloween because it is my favorite hotspot for Halloween activities. They have three nights of wickedly wonderful spectacle, all within their city's ancient 400-year-old walls. I should know. I was here when they were built. <laughs> and tomorrow night, when the veil is thin, they'll parade hundreds of delicious, oh, I mean delightful little children, all through the city in costume. Yes, everyone young and old gets all dressed up and it is perfect for ghouls like us. We blend right in, don't we, Blad? Yes, we love it here in Scary Dairy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, a couple of years ago, uh, USA Today actually voted Dairy Halloween, the number one Halloween festival in the world because it's just how spectacular it is. You know, they throw these great processions and it's music concerts and it's just a lot of food festivals over the course of the four or five days. So, uh, again, festivals are part of the Irish experience, you know, year round, but this time of year, all about embracing the Irish origins of the world's spookiest holiday. Wonderful. Gabe, thank you so much. I think we are all in the spirit for tomorrow. Scary Dairy, and you're coming to us live from Trim Castle in Ireland. Greatly appreciate it. You all right. Bet. Happy ha Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, Gabe. Everyone, stick around. We got a lot more to come right here in Idaho today, right after the break.